So uh, the story of this rock begins um, probably around two million years after the sun started to shine. That's when the asteroid uh, formed. And that's around about 4,565 million years ago. That's not because we've analyzed this one. We know similar meteorites have, have that age. Um, the, that object got partially fragmented in an impact, chunks of it thrown into the inner solar system. Uh, and then we swept up one of those chunks on the um, 27th of November. Now that thing was about, probably about that sort of size, about 80 kilos. Uh, and this is just the surviving bit of that. All the rest of it burned up as it, as it came through the atmosphere. Um, it hit the top of the atmosphere at about 14 kilometers a second. So that 80 kilo chunk. Um, and, uh, and we started to see the fireball at about, I think it was about 85 kilometers altitude. It came in really steep, like going down like that into the atmosphere. By the time the light went out, it was going at about four kilometers a second. And that's, it was that size when that happened. And that was at an altitude of 18 kilometers. And then it fell just like, in the end, like a, a rock that you've dropped from a tall building, in the end at terminal velocity. And that's what hit the lake. So it hit the lake hard enough, it turns out, I didn't know it at the time, to, uh, to burrow down about half a meter. Uh, it made a pipe about half a meter into the mud. Yeah, so, so now what we'll do, what we've actually done already is, uh, is go over to Syro uh, at ARC and work with the guys there at, to make a 3D model of it. So before we do anything else, uh, we get a, a 3D uh, CT scan of, of the thing. Uh, and then we'll take a little sample of it, so we'll, we'll chop part of one of these bits off and we'll use that to do uh, all the analytical work that we'll do on it. So 95% so of it won't ever be touched. And that'll be like chemical analyses, we'll get ages, we'll work out the, how long it is since it got knocked off its parent asteroid. Uh, and we'll also do work on that orbit, on, uh, on modeling the, the history of the the object from that point of view, you know, where did it start out uh, in the solar system? Can we pin it to an asteroid? Can we pin it to a quite a specific region? Um, that kind of thing. So probably I would guess three months time we'll, uh, we'll have an answer to some of those things.